Welcome to the Ultimate Beginner Quilt Series by Fat Quarter Shop. In this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a quilt all the way from the start to the finish. This series is sponsored by Moda Fabrics and Eversung Sewing Machines. I'm gonna be giving you lots of tips and we're gonna be building our first quilt together. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and in our beginner quilt series, I'm going to show you how to make a quilt all the way from the very beginning to the very end. I'm going to cover all the steps. If you want to sew along with me, make sure to subscribe to the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel and click the little bell to be notified when we have a new video. In today's video, we're going to talk about what you need to get quilting and what you need to make this quilt that we have made very beginner friendly. So let's start with our fabric. We have a quilt kit available and it includes Bella Solids by Moda Fabrics which are a super high quality solid. And working with solids is going to be really easy for you. So I would recommend this kit. What the kit includes are 12 fat quarters, a sashing fabric, border, binding, and backing. And what would be helpful is if you cut a little swatch off each fabric and put it on top, and that way you can always find exactly which fabric you're working with. You don't have to do that. That's just a little tip that might be great if you're a beginner so that you can always match your fabrics. If you don't want to use the fabrics that come in the kit, what you will need are 12 fat quarters. A fat quarter is a size of fabric that is 18 by 20 inches. It's half a yard cut in half. So you need 12 fat quarters, 7 eighths of a yard. For your sashing, the sashing goes around your blocks. You will need 1 and an eighth yards border and binding and 3 and 3 eighths yard backing. If you aren't going to use our quilt kit, we have a downloadable fabric requirement and color key where you can tape your fabrics on so you can follow along as you sew. But buying our kit will make it much easier for you. We're going to be sewing on an ever sewn sewing machine that is Sparrow 30. It is a great beginner sewing machine. When you start quilting, don't feel like you have to go out and buy a super expensive sewing machine. This machine is very user friendly and comes with some great features. In our next video, we're going to show you tips on working with this machine and you can apply some of those techniques to the sewing machine that you have. For Notions, we have a Notions kit that will help you get started and I'm going to show you what's in it. You will need something to mark your fabrics. So we have alphabetes, which are little plastic markers. If you don't want alphabetes, you can just use a post-it note. In all of our patterns, we label everything with the alphabet to make it super easy. You also need a sewing machine needle. The best needle to use when you're beginning is just an 80-12 universal needle. Schmetz is my preferred. Brand. A marking tool, I like to use the friction pen because when you mark with it, it will disappear with heat later. There are other marking pens available. Clover Seam Ripper comes in this little bag. So Clover Seam Ripper is the best one on the market. I love it, it's what I use. I like to use clover pens that are long and skinny. I like a 0.5 millimeters for my pens. You'll need a thread for piecing. We will be using a white Aura Fill 2024. 50 weight is what you would like to use and if you're going to buy your own thread, make sure you get 100% cotton thread and no polyester thread for your PC. For when you put binding on, Wonder Clips are very helpful. A set of 10 is all you need for this beginner quilt and a nice ruler. So this will help with cutting. So we've got our kit and we've got our Notion set. That will help you get started. The other things that you will need are batting. We are using 80-20 batting. There are lots of brands on the market. What I would recommend is using an 80-20 for your first quilt. That means it's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. 
It is nice and sturdy and easy to quilt with. You will also need a rotary cutter. We didn't include it in the Notion kit because there are lots of options. You can get a plain rotary cutter or an ergonomic rotary cutter. But rotary cutters are really a personal preference and what you feel comfortable with most. For rulers, I exclusively use Creative Grits. And you know, when you're starting quilting, I don't want you to feel like you have to spend a lot of money on anything. So the ruler that we're gonna be using in this Ultimate Beginner Quilt Series is CGR24. It is six and a half inches wide by 24 and a half inches long. So it is big enough to make all of your block cutting and it's also gonna work for when we put the sashing and borders on. The other things you will need is an ironing board. You can just use a regular ironing board that you have at home. The iron that I use is the Oliso Yellow iron and we'll talk more about this iron in block one and why I use it and lots of ironing tips as we go. I do like to use starch and we will also talk about that in block one where I give you lots of options on what you can do and what will work best for you. We will be using a design board. We have a video on how you can make one and we'll link that in the descriptions below or you can buy one that's gonna help you place all of your fabrics down and go back and forth from your cutting and sewing table. You will also need a cutting mat. I only think you need one. If you get a size 24 by 36, that is gonna be wide enough to get all of your long cuts. I prefer the Ulfa brand, but you can get any brand, just make sure it is big enough to cut at least 20 inches across. And our pattern is going to be amazing for you. It's got all the details, it's got everything in color, so if you get the kit, it's gonna be very easy and very seamless. We want this series to be very achievable so you build your skills and you feel like you can make your next quilt. But this is all you need to get started. We're making it very simple and we will be giving you a video every week with a new block. And I really hope you join me to sew your very first quilt with me. I can't wait to sew along with you guys.